In this video, we'll talk about James Webb's telescope that detected Proxima b's artificial lights. Watch the complete video to get all the related information. The most powerful space telescope ever developed, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched in 2018. It's no surprise that, given the universe's age of 13.8 billion years, astronomers will be able to use the telescope to determine when the first luminous objects, such as stars and galaxies, began to emerge shortly after the Big Bang. Because it is a member of the electromagnetic spectrum, visible light is non-destructive. As far as we can tell, the photon has a very long lifespan, up to 1018 years at the most. Since the universe was only beginning to develop, there would still be a small amount of light traveling around, but it would be incredibly feeble or dim. After billions of years, the wavelength would have changed to longer wavelengths of infrared and hence would not be visible to the Hubble and other optical observatories. James Webb comes into play here. Unlike the Hubble telescope, which could only see in the visible spectrum, this telescope can see in the infrared wavelengths of the spectrum. Even though the earliest galaxies to emerge after the Big Bang must have been exceptionally brilliant, the wavelengths of this light have since moved into the infrared and are thus no longer visible. With the James Webb Telescope's infrared sensors, we can better understand the development of these early galaxies. Scientists anticipate that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to capture photographs of the earliest sharp objects that emerged in the early universe, such as stars and galaxies, by collecting the photons they emit. Also known as peering back in time, the James Webb Space Telescope can detect infrared light from an object produced around 13 billion years ago. The light from the past has reached the telescope. The telescope has not gone to the past. The telescope can see and record light from the early universe which will allow scientists to gain new insights into the origin of the universe, the creation of stars, the construction of galaxies, and so on. We use light curves from Proxima b and its host star to evaluate the likelihood of identifying artificial lights on the planet's dark side. The two possibilities we are considering are 1. Artificial lighting with the same spectrum as frequently used LEDs on Earth, and 2 a narrower spectrum that results in the same percentage of light as the overall artificial illumination on Earth. As long as photon-limited precision is used, James Webb Telescope can identify LED-type artificial lights producing up to 5% of star power with 85% certainty. The spectral spectrum must be 103 times smaller for James Webb Telescope to detect the present amount of artificial light on Earth. Future observatories like Loire may also detect this artificial light even if the infrared sensor fails to meet our expectations with the James Webb Telescope. The presence of Proxima b's artificial light will be detected by the James Webb Space Telescope in October to confirm the presence of a dark civilization. This close exoplanet, designated Proxima b, may be illuminated by the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope launched by NASA in 2018. Avi Loeb, a controversial Harvard astronomer, was part of the research team. According to the research, lead light might be seen on Proxima b using the telescope's optical setup. It is 4.2 light years distant from us, in the constellation of Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to us. The planet Proxima b, which was found in 2016, is considered to be a rocky terrestrial world around the size of Earth, according to current thinking. Scientists have speculated that it might contain water. Proxima b's orbit is so near to its red dwarf that it is anticipated to be tidally locked and have a permanently night-facing face. Loeb says a civilization can glow with substantial mirrors or LED lights. Using the near-infrared sensor on the James Webb Telescope, they propose searching for traces of LED light waves in the light generated by the planet and its host star. It will be possible to identify the presence of this man-made light if it exists. Professor Loeb predicted the presence of extraterrestrial life for more than a decade and provided a means to locate them. A laser-propelled light sail will fly to Proxima Centauri and get there within a few decades as part of the Breakthrough Starshot project. Astronomers also claim that the Oumuamua asteroid is the first time human beings have come into contact with an alien intelligence in a study. 
When it comes to searching for indications of intelligent extraterrestrial life outside of our solar system, Proxima b is the most popular target. There is a habitable zone around this planet, which is 1.27 times larger than Earth. As a result, liquid water may be present on the surface. This star system is just 4.2 light years distant from our planet. Interstellarly speaking, it's just a few light years away. As a result, this habitable zone is located quite near to the star, which implies that the planet is constantly facing the star due to its tides. Another possibility is that the star's powerful radiant vapor prevents life from forming during the day. Barely a tenth of Mercury's distance from the Sun is covered by Proxima b's orbit, which is only 4.5 million miles across. Radio scientists think that the radio emissions observed around Proxima Centauri b may be the result of natural interference. The tidal lock sparked Professor Loeb's interest in utilizing the James Webb telescope to detect lead lights on Earth. Launched later this year, the James Webb Space Telescope will have a larger spectral field of view than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, and will travel 930,000 miles further from Earth in the solar orbit. Analysis of Proxima and its host star's luminosity curves allowed researchers to determine if artificial light may be spotted on the planet's dark side. They remarked, one is artificial lighting, whose spectrum matches that of the widely used lead bulbs here on Earth, and the other has a smaller spectrum, but the light it generates is identical to that of artificial lighting on Earth. The exact amount of light is being emitted. 5% of a star's power comes from lead-type artificial light, which the James Webb Space Telescope can detect. In their words, we need the highest near-infrared spectrometer performance possible to confirm our forecast. James Webb Telescope may not detect this artificial light, but future observatories such as LUAR may be able to do so. LUAR, NASA's proposed design for a significant new multi-wavelength space observatory, is a large-scale ultraviolet, optical, and infrared measurement instrument. If James Webb can detect the narrow band light evocative of lead lamps, the planet's atmosphere may be studied. Using the observatory's sensors, scientists may measure how much energy is transmitted to the Earth and then compute the light curve to see whether it matches the lead light source. Professor Loeb and his colleagues utilized the James Webb Space Telescope Exposure Time Calculator to determine that it may be able to detect artificial light. Using this tool, astronomers may forecast what will be observable at any particular time, depending on the telescope's pre-launch parameters. It's possible to calculate the potential of detecting various flux values, and civilizations that live in perpetual darkness should anticipate detecting those wavelengths that match the intensity of artificial light. Proxima b, according to the author, is tidally locked. Mirrors in orbit or strategically positioned sites might be used to light the night side of a planet if it has a perpetual day and night side. It is more likely to be spotted by James Webb Telescope if the light beaming on the permanent night surface is highly intense. Using James Webb Space Telescope, we discovered that it can detect artificial light. It is possible to produce artificial lighting that is comparable to natural lighting using LEDs since their brightness is 500 times greater than the brightest LEDs now in use on the planet. According to an unrelated research project, the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to discover indications of alien life as early as 2026. Within 60 hours, the James Webb Space Telescope may uncover life on another planet, say researchers at Ohio State University. According to graduate student Caprice Phillips, the study's findings suggest that within the next 5 to 10 years, we may detect evidence of life. When the telescope launched in October, Phillips predicted that it would only take a few orbits to discover ammonia surrounding the dwarf planet. This was all from my side to guide you about James Webb's telescope that detected Proxima b's artificial lights. I hope you liked the video. Kindly subscribe to Gravity Channel and press that bell icon to get the latest updates about the new space inventions and the outer world.